everyone, we're back in the craft room and today I'm doing a transfer onto jewelry clay. I used a clip art image and I printed it out on photo transfer paper, inkjet photo transfer paper. And what I'm using is the jewelry clay and if you are looking for it in the craft store, can't find it, ask for it. And if you can't find it, go to the website at www.eti-usa.com and they'll be able to uh, send you to a place that will be able to find it. And certainly you can probably find it right online at Amazon too. And I'll try to link it to my website at www.craftclutch.com. That way it'll be there. And if you click on the tab, products I use, it should be linked there. And that should probably, probably it'll take you to an Amazon link. Alright, what I'm going to do here is take some of each, A and B, because it comes in an A and a B. Okay, once you have once you have equal parts of A and B, and I measure it by making two equal balls, and I squish it together until it is one uniform color. You don't want any striping going through it of the two different colors because then it won't harden properly. In order for it to harden properly, it needs to be 100% fully mixed. And it doesn't really take that long. It might take a minute or two. You're just squishing it around and getting it mixed. It's fully mixed and I'm going to roll it into a ball. and I'm going to press it right on to the image. Depending on how much clay you made, you might get part of the image on it or all of it. You just want to kind of keep that in mind when you're creating your your clay ball and your image, how, how large you want it to be. This should be able to catch all of it. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to use different colors of the pigment powders. Okay, I'm going to start with a green kind of right in the middle. I don't really know how well they're going to blend, but we will find out. The fun of all of this stuff is just to experiment with it and kind of make it your own. So if you don't end up making something exactly like I do, that's great because it should be different. It's yours. Okay, then I'm going to use this Violet Brass Purple. Put that on the top here, I guess. Do the yellow down here, kind of try to blend it in with the green a little bit. And tomorrow, when we mold it, we'll brush off any excess. So we won't really know how this looks until tomorrow, or 12 hours, depending on when you're doing it. And this is a flamingo pink. So this will be a nice bright pink. Now the girl had kind of, she was like a fairy or something, and she had this very nature butterfly kind of. Thing going and I have this beautiful hummingbird stamp that should fit right on there. Okay, and I'm gonna just stamp it right in there. So I'm gonna take my needle tool, you can use a pen or whatever, create a hole. And I'm gonna take the purple. A little in there so you don't have any raw clay showing after. So we're going to stamp a word on the bottom as well and I'm going to go with love because I guess I'm feeling the love today. So here's the L. And then we'll throw joy in there just for the heck of it. Now we're just going to let this sit for 12 hours and then we'll brush off any excess and we'll pull it off and we'll see how it all turned out. I'm back to reveal the clip art pendant where we did, we had the different colors on the back. Let's reveal it here. Oh look it, the colors came out nice and vibrant. And you could personalize this for any any occasion, any anything that you want. There's so much clip art out there, free clip art. They've got clip art books. There you go. There's the back, which came out nice and clear. You could put any kind of a saying on there. 
and I'm going to put a protective coat on there. But this stuff dries rock solid, so it's very durable. And I'm going to put a protective coat on the front. I'm going to brush just a little bit of resin over it just so that it protects the image. And you're going to have a really cool piece. I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to write, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.